Federal Executive Council don't approve contract for Bida Sachi Pyroko Road. Presidency don't deny any misunderstanding between President Buhari and Vice President Osibajo. House of Reps don't they touch light factional PDP leaders inside the House. An appeal court don't sack Senate Tok Tok person Dayo Adeyeye on top the election where Karam enter Senate. My country people, good evening and welcome to As It Take Happen. My name na Na Douglas. Sharply, the Federal Executive Council will be fake. Don't deny any disagreement between President Buhari and Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo. And as it be, sorry, I take them again. The Federal Executive Council fake will be saying that Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo preside, don't approve the contract for the completion of the Bida Sachi Pyroko Road for the cost of more than 48 billion naira. Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, now announced this one to State House correspondents after the weekly FEC meeting on Wednesday. He talks that the project get timeline of 30 months. Mr. Fashola can use the occasion to reveal, say, work they go on now to make sure say drivers and passengers go enjoy the road, especially this celebration season. Sachi Nupeku Bida Road. It's Bida Sachi Nupeku Road, actually, pardon me. And uh, we've attached uh, a bridge, uh, the Nupeku Patigi Bridge across the river Niger to link Niger and Kwara states together and also facilitate connectivity from southwest to the north central and the north of Nigeria. Uh, it's an old contract, actually. It was awarded in 2013 terminated for non-performance, uh, re-evaluated. It didn't have a bridge then, we've added the bridge now. Approved now for 58.488 billion, and uh, it's expected to take 30 months. So that's it really, thank you very much. And when they give you own briefing, Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami Toxi, FEC appreciate the effort of one group of Nigerians who carry first position for one digital startup for United Arab Emirates. We traveled to JITEX with 10 startups. One of the startups we attended the event with is called Chiniki Guts. Chiniki Guts, it is an artificial intelligence application uh, which has been developed in order to monitor, track, and report suspicious activities in public places like shopping mall, office space, and any anything related to that. So this is the artificial intelligence that has been developed by one young man from Kazana State by name Abdul Hakim Bashir. And it emerged the global best in the most celebrated and biggest category that is artificial intelligence. 740, 750 participants participated in that category from 73 countries. And he happens to be the best among the 750 from 73 countries. We feel this is something that should be celebrated by all Nigerians. And this tells us that we have a capacity of in the future time of being not only an ICT consumer, but rather a digital producer and importer globally. And for the next story, the presidency talks say, no be true, sake of report where they go around say, misunderstanding day between the office of the presidio and that of the Vice President. Senior Special Assistant to the President on Top National Assembly Matters, Babajide Omowurari and Umar Yakub. now then make the clarification on Wednesday for one press briefing inside Abuja. Senator Omowurari talks say, the Constitution gives pres President of Nigeria the power to work from anywhere in the world. He insists say, the scenario did different from that of former President Umar Yar Adwa and Vice President Goodluck Jonathan, where he talks say, Yar Adwa no fit perform in official duties, sake of say in body matter, be no let him do the work. By any way or manner, the office of the vice president has been um, relegated. The, as you all know, the position of the president of Nigeria, he could work wherever he is at any point in time, whether he's in the country or he's outside the country. And the most celebrated case, the most celebrated instance was when President Shewun Sayaradwa took ill 
took was sick actually and he could not um, um, communicate with the National Assembly before he traveled. And he was gone for a very long time. And the National Assembly had to find a way of working around the provision of the Constitution to ensure that um, executive power goes to the Vice President. I don't think there is any way whatsoever that the position of the Vice President has been relegated. And I think the President is performing his functions where he is. Babaji did this silent on why, as it a travel come out from the country, President Buhari no transmit later to National Assembly to hand over government work to the Vice President. And for the next one inside National Assembly, President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, don't want to say Nigerians and even foreigners go hardly invest to support the nation's economy if government no tackle the security wahala when Nigeria they face. And he made the comment after one point of order on top matters of national importance will be seen as Senator Olalekon Mustafa raised on Wednesday for plenary. Security agencies to intervene in the increased rate of kidnapping in the riverine areas of Ugu East Central District and securing the waterways. The Senate notes with urgent and grave concern the recent increase in the activities of criminal syndicates who specialize in kidnapping and militancy in and around the riverine communities in Ogunwe Central District, particularly Odeomi, Makun, and the Wokwin in Oga Ogun Waterside local government area of Ogun State. Concerned that the activities of these criminals have caused law abiding residents of coastal communities of the affected areas to flee their communities and livelihood out of fear. The Senate President come also call for more budgetary allocation to security agencies who will help them fight banditry kidnapping, insurgency, and other criminal activities across the country. He said it will make sense to establish national emergency centers across Nigeria, which will make them easier to fight criminality and criminal activities for Bodo, Nigeria. A better and more operable and result-oriented approach to fighting kidnapping and the insecurity we face. And we have insisted here that no amount of resources will be too much because we need to secure our people, we need to secure this country. It will remain a pipe dream if we continue to ask for people to come to Nigeria to invest. Actually, even those inside Nigeria may not invest properly once the security situation remains very dicey. So this is something that we have to do together with the executive arm of government. For another one, we resemble them. The Senate President can suggest say, make the Office of the National Security Advisor send different models of drones for security matters. Meanwhile, still for National Assembly, House of Representatives go touch light factional leaders of the People's Democratic Party, PDP caucus, inside the House. The decision to investigate the factional leaders come up for one motion where we say, now Honorable Ben Ibakba bring. He talks, say, these factional leaders, they do anyhow, can they parade themselves for positions where they no occupy. A Baba we name the factional leaders as Kingsley Chinda, Chukuma Onyema, and Moraino Ajibola, talks, say, then they issue statement outside the structures of the house. Deputy Speaker Idris Wase, we preside for plenary, can refer the matter to Ethics and Privileges Committee for further touch lighting. For other matters, as it take happen, Court of Appeal, where they sit inside Kaduna State, don't nullify the election of the Tok Tok person of Senate, Senator Dayo Adeyeye. When it they give judgment today, will be Wednesday, Justice Uzo Anyangu also uphold the tribunal judgment, where declare the People's Democratic Party PDP Senator Abiodun Olujimi as winner for the Ekiti South senatorial election, will be happen for February 23. Una go remember said the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, been declared a day we run under the broom of the ruling All Progressive Congress, winner of the National Assembly election. Olujumi we Beleno sweet on top of the declaration, can carry the matter meet the election petition tribunal, can argue say, now she get the highest number of votes for the election. She can tell the tribunal say, may then cancel the APC candidate's victory with claim say, Wuruwuru day for the electoral process. After every every, 
the tribunal can cancel the election for some polling units, as they later declare Olujimi winner. Sake of this one, the All Progressive Congress and their candidate for the election, Dayo Adeye, can carry the matter enter Court of Appeal. The gist be say, Justice Anyangu can agree with the ruling of the tribunal, say, true, true, Olujimi of the PDP, Nashik Bake the victory, as the judge can order INEX and make them sharply issue certificate of return to Olu Jimmy. Meanwhile, human rights lawyer Femi Falana on Wednesday tell the Federal High Court inside Abuja say the organizer of the hashtag Revolution Now protest, Omoyele Showore, and in co -defend defendant will be Olawale Bakari, don't meet the bail condition where court summer them, sake of their trial on top charges of treasonable felony, as court people put them. Falana will be their lawyer, talk say, then go free them later today, will be Wednesday, as at the time where we get the report. He, talk, he, he asked, say, make them shift the case, sake of, say, the Department of State Service, the, the Department of State Service will detain the defendants, prevent them to prepare for inclines. Mr. Showore will be say, then don't carry the matter, go to the 5th and 6th of December, 2019, the accuser for one serious offense, what Oyibo they call treasonable felony. And for the next story, as the dry season done, they draw close. They don't beg Nigerians say, make them take issue of climate change serious, and make them make sure say they play a wonge role to protect and preserve their environment. This. <laughs> This one I call from the one non-governmental organization, NGO, where don't they do plant do where don't they do three planting projects across schools inside FCT. As he kickstart the project on Friday with the donation of 10 trees for the junior secondary school at Po, the executive director of the organization, Adetayo Agbenle, Adegbenle, talks say the gesture now to complement the promise which President Muhammad Buhari make for the last United Nations General Assembly to plant 25 million trees across the country to take tackle the problem of climate change. Our correspondent, John Emmanuel, reports say the project will target 10 schools inside FCT go donate total of 100 trees with plan to extend them to other states for the Federation. The Nigerian Institute of Public Relations don't call ministries, departments, and agencies, that is MDAs of government, say make them always they hire the services of professional public relations officers. This one now one of the major issues where they raise for the 2019 AGM conference will be saying NIPR FCT chapter organized on Wednesday. When they yam for the sidelines of the event, the FCT chapter chairman of NIPR, Tayo Hashtrop, talks say, then the, the, talk say they know they, they, they do the project or the MDAs, they know they project them well because of, uh, because of say, then they hire quack public relations officers to work for them. It maintains say the body will soon start to the grab quacks for the industry. Uh, we believe that this one will sharpen this, uh, their skills in population management issues because we brought together here uh, very highly experienced, skilled people, uh, erudite scholars in the aspect of population management to come and give lectures, to come and sharpen the skills of our members, to come and teach them new things about population management and that's why we are here to make sure that um, the participants will go back to their organizations to apply what they've learned from the word of the experience and from the synergy of uh, this professional workshop back to the organization. And I believe putting that to the organization, the organization will also improve, progress, 
and uh, the public health departments and organizations will go higher. Population officers in government agencies are not effectively doing well as expected. Um, the problem again is that many of them are not professional members of the Nigerian Institute of Relations. And we see on our side that some of them are quacks practicing each uh, uh, public relations in their various organizations. So we encourage them to please come and join, come and be professionals in uh, public relations by the Nigerian Institute of Relations certifying them, accrediting them as uh, professionals. And from there, participating in what we do and also having a good uh, skill with uh, lectures, resource person here and there, um, they will definitely do well in their various organizations, particularly government agencies in this Nigeria. When is the talking own, head of parliament Lysin, NLNG, Salem Ali Salem, Salam, want to make the professional body rise up to the occasion where we say they will protect their members. On top ease of doing business in Nigeria, Salam talks say, as against claims by the federal government, say Nigeria don't improve. He talks say the country still need to do plenty more things to attract foreign investors. Government provide them um, a, a, a ease of doing business for you. Say, okay, registration now very simple. If you do this one online, and what thing I want to produce for my country and how much is I want to do, and you say matches go come from uh, uh, Niger Republic, matches go come from Benin Republic. How go fit compete with those kind of things? But if you come protect my business, like what in other countries they do for this world, well then they protect people business. They say, okay, well, this one you can bring it into this country now for natives, now for people who get this country now them go they do this kind of business. Fine, but. They then power, if I be welder, power no day. No be generator I will use. If I go use generator, no be full I go buy. Now so then they do business. If I do that to my business go there expensive. And no be the kind of things where people want to see. If you want to help me, give me power. Give me roads, transportation. Huh? That can help my business. You get me? If I get all these things in place, I go feel do business. And then tax now. Ah, I get small business. If they tax me, they say they tax me after national. I will go do this kind of thing. If now you go country, then they do like this. They know they do. You know, they, they look for big, big business and you go tax that one. The small, small business, okay, this one, what I go tax yourself. Uh, you go leave that one now. When people business come grow, come big, huh? then you go begin to charge their money. My people, the program now as it take happen, make we go drink water as we'll come back with business news. <music> And on top business news, inside governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele, say the CBN decision on top voting consign monetary policy will impact positively for the lives of Nigerians. Emefiele talked this one today when he appeared before the Senate Committee on Top Finance for Inside Abuja. If now flash on our mind back, the CBN governor been done fail to appear before the Senate Committee where they touch light the different exchange rates where the bank use for three Kajat projects under the Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund. Emefele will not talk anything for the issue where consigned stamp duty collection talks say the matter is still there for high court. Um, in the area of monetary policy, we are trying as much as possible to ensure that monetary policy decisions are those that would impact positively on the lives of our people. It shouldn't just be enough as saying, like we have always said in the, in, the, in the monetary policy committee meetings, it should not just be about talking about interest rates, exchange rates and all that, but how does our decisions on interest rates, on exchange rates and other things that we discuss at, at, at the monetary policy committee, how does it um, impact, and in this case, and we mean positively, on the lives of our people, particularly Nigeria. And you would have observed um, through our various activities and um, some of our pronouncements um, that we are, we are doing the little that we can, contributing the little that we can uh, in the development of this country. John juncture, given the fact that the stamp duties matter and other related matters, particularly the stamp duties matter is a matter that is currently at the High Court, I would like to crave your kind indulgence, sir, that you permit us to speak off camera. Thank you, sir. 
the committee can't let her dissolve, can't enter into one big, big meeting where Oyibo they call executive session. My people, it remains sports news. Will they come back? And on top sports, report talks a Turkish club, Fanabache, done the ginger to sign Super Eagles captain Ahmed Musa when the January transfer window opened. The 26 year old will return from two months' injury layoff on Saturday, then link him with the Yellow Canaries last summer before he later decided to join Saudi Arabian side Al Nasser. According by report, Fanabache they hope to boost their attacking options and then see Musa as good backup for Vedat Moriki and Melvut Erdin. Fanabache also get inside their club before before Super Eagles winger Victor Moses with the on loan from Chelsea. They expect say Musa go lead the Super Eagles when they kick off their 2021 African Nations Cup qualifiers against Benin Republic and Lesotho later this month. Him be missed a friendly match against Ukraine and Brazil through injury. My people na the Tori be that, but before I go make a summer now to make our top headline. Federal Executive Council don't approve contract for Bida Sachin Upeko Road. Presidency don't deny any misunderstanding between President Buhari and Vice President Oshibajo. House of Reps don't they touch light factional PDP leaders inside the House. And last last, a court don't sack Senate Tok Tok person, Dayo Adeyeye, on top of the election with Karim enter Senate. Now, see, take happen with that on top of Zobia Max TV. Thank you, say you join us. My name is Douglas.